A few weeks ago, I was browsing AliExpress when I came across this, the Faker IK75 V3 keyboard. In the world of budget keyboards, this one is honestly probably one of my favorites. It comes in at a 75% layout with a knob, an included PC plate if you want to switch out the aluminum plate, and switches all for under $80 shipped. For $80, you get a hot swap PCB at a 75% layout, supporting both 3 and 5 pin switches. This keyboard does have north facing RGB LEDs, which are set to interfere with some keycaps. However, I've had no issues with that. The RGB is per key as well as a peripheral underglow, which you can customize with the software. You get a knob which can be tuned for the volume as well as pause play on your media controls. It comes with three mode connectivity, both USB-C, Bluetooth, as well as 2.4G. The battery on this unit is one of the largest I've seen at 8,000 milliamp hours. But the biggest selling point of this mechanical keyboard over other budget keyboards is the gasket mount design as well as the included polycarbonate plate. You can swap out the polycarbonate plate with the aluminum one for different sound profiles. I find the polycarbonate plate gives a more deeper sound whereas the aluminum has a more clacky sound. Now the gasket mount is not the best I've seen. There is very little flex and even less once you add in the tape mod as well as the foam mod underneath the PCB. Now looking at the outside of this keyboard, it is a semi-transparent plastic case. You can see that it does have per key RGB. It might be a little bit hard to see through the camera, but there is also underglow LED effects which can be customized in the software. Mine is a little bit dim because I did add the foam underneath the PCB which did happen to block some of the LEDs. You can also see here the wireless dongle for the wireless connectivity obviously. You have some adjustable feet right here, they are two stage, so if you want a more steep incline you can go ahead and do that but i left mine on the smaller angle the keyboard also includes the knob which can be pressed in or out from media controls that unfortunately cannot be modified however the rest of the keyboard can have all the macros you want it does not support qmk but the included software was just fine for my needs all right, so let me give you guys a quick look at the gasket mount design of this keyboard. If you guys look closely at the spots right here in between the LEDs, that's where the gasket sits. Um, it has about four gaskets in the front and back and one on each side. There really isn't that much flex on this keyboard, especially after I added the foam mods to it. But I'm just gonna give you guys a quick demonstration. So pressing down on the space bar, you can see nothing is really occurring here, um, even less so on the main keys which is fine. Um, one of the perks of the gasket mount design is that there is a little more space underneath the PCB for you to stuff with foam because there's no standoffs for the PCB itself. For the sound test, I swapped out the aluminum plate with the included PC plate. I'm using Echo Jelly Black switches lubed with Crytox 205. I added a three layered tape mod underneath the PCB as well as a 1 8 inch thick neoprene foam underneath that. Now keep in mind that this sound test may not be fully representative, things like the microphone, desk material, and desk pad material may affect the sound. So with that out of the way, let me give you guys a quick sound test.
One thing I forgot to mention before the sound test is that I swapped out the included stabilizers with Duroc clip-in stabilizers. I wanted to give this board the best chance to sound as good as it can. So what do I think about this keyboard? Well, for the price, I think it's pretty hard to beat. I have many other budget keyboards like GK64, GK68, things like that. But for the price, I feel like this keyboard has the best sound out of all of them. Now, of course, with the mods that I have done, the tape mod, the foam, the switches, it will sound a little bit different based on your setup. However, compared to my other keyboards and the switches that I have in those, this is my favorite sounding one. So if you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be having a lot more keyboard reviews coming in the future and have a good one.